Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Welcome to Fahad's tutorial once again. And the topic that I'm going to explain primarily in this tutorial is a global issue. And this is about water, water pollutions, and how we can save a little bit of that with water that we are actually polluting day by day. So if we see simply in our surroundings that how there are a lot of process that we are actually polluting our surface water in every single day. The industries are disposal their chemical trashes into water. The, in, in agricultural sectors, the insecticides and fertilizers that is actually using that is washed in a water directly or indirectly. And think about the other things in our day-to-day -day life, the disposals and our everyday life. We are polluting waters consciously and unconsciously. So that is why in, in this chapter, as a base balance, there are some portions that water is being discussed. And this is a global issue, and this is a national issue. You can say it's a personal issue also. Because water is a limited resource. And think about the shallow pump. People are using uh, this shallow pump to excavate the water from the surface of deep water. And day by day, the level of deep water is also decreasing. And also you have heard about arsenic. That is actually contaminations of water that is that may lead to death of human death. So, in numerous way we are actually polluting water, and also we know that there are some heavy metals like lead, cadmium, uh, lead cadmium, chromium. These are also some heavy heavy metals that is actually uh, somehow uh, mixing with uh, our surface water. So, if we are not aware of it one day this earth will definitely feel the crisis of pure water right now it's going on so in this tutorial i'm just explaining you that uh, what can be the measure that can be taken for uh, the water preventing water pollutions think about some industries that there is mandatory for the industries to use etp this is something a big area like it's biggest area that is effluent Effluent treatment plant. Effluent treatment plant. So it is something like that an industry is those are actually the chemical industry, they cannot actually uh, dispose their chemical trashes directly to the surface reservoir of water. There is something a scientific process that inhibits to, to directly mixing these heavy metals and chemical trashes to water to save our surface water. So this is something mandatory but uh, uh, in big cities, in some big cities around the world, there is some scientific process that is uh, following to, to prevent these water pollutions. So how we can see that? What is the testing procedure of the water? Think about the testing procedure or the testing uh, process of the water that is number one simply the color and water so if you see that the pure water is actually colorless and orderless and transparent if there is something visible uh, that this undesired particles is mixed in the water then you can see this is water is not pure temperature usually the temperature of water might be like 30 to 35 degrees Celsius 30 to 35 degrees Celsius in summer, but it can be not maximized 40 degrees Celsius. But if somehow the water temperature rises up to few degrees than 40 degrees Celsius, then we can say this is actually heat polluted. So we say this is actually heat polluted. And this heat pollution is also another part of the pollution of water. So in case of testing the purity of water, number one, we can test that order and the order and the color of the water, and also the temperature of the water. So thermometer will express that what is the temperature of water. If it is exceeds more than 40 degree, then we can say this is heat polluted. In case of pH, it should not be less than 4.5 to greater than 9.5. If the pH of water exceeds 9.5 or even it less 4.5, then we can say that this is a polluted water. BOD and COD, these two values actually denotes the level of purity of water. In case of BOD, this is bio 
logical oxygen oxygen demand this is something that I need to explain in another video because this is a lot of things that I need to explain and COD is a chemical oxygen demand what is BOD? Biological oxygen demand means that the amount of oxygen that is required to decompose the biological factors or the organic factors or the organic matters inside the water in presence of air, this is BOD. That means in which water the BOD level is high, it means that the oxygen demand in the water, the organic substance oxygen demand is so high, so this is polluted water. So if BOD level is so high, it, it shows that the water is polluted. Again, the chemical oxygen demand is that oxygen that is required for, for the decomposers of the organic and inorganic materials inside water in presence of air. So usually the COD level of any water is much higher than the BOD level of that water because BOD is only for the oxygen demand of uh, the organic matters but in COD it's actually chemical oxygen so it is combined of uh, the organic and inorganic materials so COD level or the COD value of any water sample is always higher than BOD I shall explain it later on about it because I have to I have to explain a lot more about the BOD and COD level. In this tutorial, I'm just explaining what is BOD and COD, the definition of it. So BOD is biological oxygen demand. If the value of BOD is increased, then we can say this is polluted water. Same as COD. So if COD level is so high in case of water, then we say that this is uh, polluted water. So simply the testing of the purity of water we can think about the five factors number one order and color i said already that you know already also that the pure water is orderless colorless and transparent number two is temperature in summer season we know that the water temperature can exceed from 30 to 35 degrees celsius or even 40 degrees celsius but more than 40 definitely this is polluted and we say it heat polluted in case of pH, it should not exceed 9.5 and do not cross also 4.5. So, in both sides, you know that the level of pH is a uh, range for 0 to 14. So, it's about the middle level that pH and you know that distilled water pH is 7. BOD and COD explained. Now, shortly, I must say that what are the process that we can actually purify uh, water? Number one is chlorination you know about chlorination this is the very this is a very common process to sterilize water so what is chlorination chlorination is about uh, mixing the bleaching powder what is bleaching powder you know that this is a calcium calcium chloro hypochlorite if you use it with calcium chloro hypochlorite with water then it will produce it will produce the calcium hydroxide and two oxidized chlorine and these oxidized chlorine if it mix with germs then it kills it kills germs so we can say that that bleaching powder that bleach actually in case of uh, purifying the water bleaching powder mixing is a very common process following process so number one is chlorination so in case of chlorination when oxidized chlorine is mixed with water it is sterilized boiling very well known we know that boiling water actually not always cases but in our day-to-day uh, -day life boiling water gives some period of water but it should be boiled for 15 to 20 minutes minimum and one thing is mentionable if this water if this water mixed with arsenic then boiling is more harmful so in this case, if water with mix of arsenic, then boiling should not be the process to purify it. It is more, it's becoming more harmful. 
sedimentation. Sedimentation means you know that when you think about the precipitation reaction, sediment something. Sedimentation is the process that is followed when a teaspoon of uh, fitkiri in Bangla, you said that fitkiri, alum dust. So this is actually alum dust that uh, is used and the formula of alum dust is important that is potassium sulfate, aluminium sulfate and 24 molecule of water and this is actually the alum dust. If uh, you mix one spoonful of alum dust with one bucket of water so that the undesired particles or some sort of like uh, impurities will be sedimented if you mix it and wait for half an hour or 45 minutes then that sedimentation will uh, end up with these um, impurities and undesired particles of the water and we can collect the water from the upper surface in another container and thus we can find pure water and another thing is filtration you know that in market uh, you will find available filter I mean electronic and non-electronic filter made by some other companies which is uh, widely used in our households so water filter you know that the process of filtering water so these are the purification process that uh, we are using in our day-to-day -day life so in our households we usually filtration process in some other places where the filter is not available people use bleaching powder or or this uh, fit kiri that you can say that alum dust usually to to purify water so when we use bleaching powder you know that oxidized chlorine will purify water in case of alum dust it will be sedimented and that is why sedimentation is the process and boiling is a very enshrined process even right now also that people boil water to get the purified water uh, but it should be around 15 to 20 minutes boiling but mixing with arsenic boiling is even harmful so uh, this is a very short lecture about the purification of water i have explained i mean water purification is an endless process i mean in the whole universe in every corner of the world it's a global issue we need to save our water because we know that water is a limited resource even in our deep water that the people are using shallow pump and and wasting water everyday life no it should not be and that is why the purpose of education is that those are watching these tutorials and will read this book you might think that water should be saved water should not be wasted and even we try to use some scientific process like ETP like effluent treatment plant in case of industries and even in our house any kind of scientific process can be invented to serve and to, to preserve our water and to minimize the, the water pollution in our day to day life. We bath, we use our utensils, we wash our utensils, we do a lot of washes and so that you see that directly and indirectly water is polluting day by day. So we must think something to save our water because we know that drinkable water uh, amount is so less in, our, in, our, in this planet. So in order to live, we need water and that is why we need to save water. So thank you so very much. I hope if these sort of questions come into your exam paper, so try to do these things, the testing, the, uh, the purities of water. These are some factors and these are the purification process. In the next video, I'm coming up with the detail of COD and POD. So take care. Uh, Thank you so very much. Keep watching this tutorial so let me know in the comment sections and also you can join in my Facebook page uh, so that I know your feedback. Take care. Stay well. Bye.